So, we're going to try this for the first time and see how it works. You'll notice the last bit of your smiley is on listing strategies, so I'm going to go through one classic example of this to help you and then link that to the tree diagrams you should have been doing this week without me. So, a fairly common question is from a meal and a menu, a set of options, how many different meals can you build? In this case, there are two starters to choose from and four main courses. And altogether, that means you're gonna get two courses. Um, the main thing here is to be systematic. So I'm gonna make sure that I start with prawns first and see what can follow it. So it'll be prawns with one of these, then soup with each of these. And I'll try to do it in the order they're written, which means I know I don't miss any out. So the first possible meal is going to be prawns followed by beef, the top two. And I keep prawns the same and I move down to lamb. I keep prawns the same and I move down to cod. I keep prawns the same and I move down to mushrooms. And because I've reached bottom, I now know I've done all the options with prawns. So I now change to soup, but come back to the top of the list. So that's soup with beef, soup with lamb, soup followed by cod, and soup followed by mushrooms. And by working through in order, I can make sure that I have all the options. And unfortunately, I didn't quite zoom out far to show that all in, but that's why we practice this stuff. So do get back in touch with the problem with that. I hope that's all okay.